Hello guys, this is Pavel Skorop from Laravel Daily and YouTube channel Laravel Business and today's topic is moving the models into models folder with PHP Storm. So imagine we have a kind of small project but at some point in grow it grows bigger and you want to move those models into app models folder. So by default if we go to PHP Storm this is our list of modules and in my case it's seven models. This project is generated by Quick Admin Panel so it's not really big, it's four appointments. So we have <coughs> so we have employees here, services and appointments and then calendar. So not a lot of stuff. And at some point you decide uh, to unclutter the stuff and uh, put it into models folder. So what is the best way of doing that without spending two days on that? So there are a few things which can be helped by PHP Storm and just general logic of uh, where to replace stuff. So first thing is, of course, we create models folder. Uh, app models, right? Then we need to get all of those and move into models folder, right? So we are moving everything. But then the next problem we have is namespaces. So all of the models were namespaced by app and we can rep we need to replace that into app models. But this is pretty easy. You just go right click the folder, replace in path, namespace app to namespace app models. Uh, right, should be good. Mm, seven, yep, seven occasions, namespace app models. And this means that there should, no, there should be no errors, so it's referencing the service class and it should be all working. But then you will encounter, encounter the error of uh, using wrong user, uh, user model because it's specifically uh, mentioned in auth PHP config class. So we need to define user class, which is not existing anymore, right? So we need to specify app models user. Uh, and then we need to replace everything that uh, requires those models. So if we go to app appointments and search for the whole project, app appointments, you see quite a lot of use uh, in controllers, in form requests, in factories, uh, in API controllers and all of that. So uh, the last part is to go one by one uh, and replace the appointments and whole project. So use app appointment and for that I didn't find any uh, actually it's wrong it's find in path it should be replace in path didn't find any trick so that's the last part is manual but it's pretty quick so models appointment replace all mm, yep then same with client so let's stick with me for a few minutes or actually I will rewind it to the place where I actually have done it. So appointment, client, and then other ones. Okay, so it took me another minute to go through all of them. The last one is user. And then after we move everything, we need to do composer dump autoload. So composer dump autoload in our terminal, because all the references are now kind of messed up and we need to tell composer to load new classes and we wait for that for like, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds or so. Okay, it's done. And whether we forgot something, let's try it out. Maybe we did forget something. Let's just refresh the page and see if it still works or it throws some errors. Right, we have a beautiful Ignition Laravel 6 page app user instead of app models user in middleware access gate in appointments index and it and it points to auth gates it's our middleware for the auth gates and quick admin panel and here we have app user so that's why i actually advise to not reference the files in the middle but instead use uh, here as much as possible so app models user and then you can use user here probably uh, right let's refresh the page now and let's see if we have any other errors no we don't have any other errors and let's try to add an appointment let's go through all the crud and if we see if it's still working okay so finish time something uh, some services here save uh, yep no errors and if we delete stuff should work too 
So this is how you can move all your, all your models into app mo models folder. Probably for more complicated projects, it would be more logic uh, and more stuff left untouched. So of course you will have to handle some stuff manually as I did here. Uh, but trick for that for the future is try to reference all the models in your use instead of doing full path inside and then you would be able to move things around to other namespaces. That's actually an example, uh, same example would be if you want to move some list of files into a subfolder or into a different folder or regroup something. It's a pretty typical example, just models is the most kind of uh, most common example and people uh, on quick admin panel live chat is asking us how to move that stuff into models or do we have some setting for that we don't have settings so we generate uh, stuff as it is by default in Laravel but this is how easily you can move that into models if you wish to so I hope it was helpful and see you guys in other videos